Hey guys, welcome back to another video this week. I figured since I'm bored and I'm stuck at home, what's better than just kind of updating my channel with some more content for you guys to watch. This video is pretty simple. Just five of my favorite things, all time and current, uh, shows on Netflix for you guys to check out if you haven't already. They're pretty popular shows, so I wouldn't be shocked if everyone knows every single one of them. But still, if you don't, here we go. So my number five spot goes to On My Block. It's a Netflix original, pretty much everyone knows it. If you haven't seen it, you've definitely heard of it. And it's really good. Um, it kind of tackles inner city gang violence, but also is funny and like relatable because they're pretty young. I think they're like sophomores in high school. And it just is a good show all around. Granted, the acting isn't that good, I mean, Realistically, the only two who are good are Ruby and Jamal out of like the main characters and then supporting characters are pretty good, but it is a show that's worth watching. It's one of the, like the bingeable shows, you know, like it's one that you start and at the end of the episode, you're like, okay, I need to watch more of this. So I would definitely recommend it. Number four goes to All American. Um, All American is not a Netflix original, but it is on Netflix if you want to watch it. It is currently um, on the CW. And it kind of has like that CW aspect of like the 90210, the OC, the Gossip Girl, where it's like the kind of teen drama, stupid stuff. But it also tackles like racial tensions and drug abuse, substance abuse in general. Um, and just things that kind of people think that teenagers don't go through, but they do. And it also, the main character, he is from South Crenshaw, California, and he moves to Beverly Hills. And in Beverly Hills, he is obviously exposed to a life that he's never seen before. And he kind of goes back and forth between the two cities and it just shows the juxtaposition of how the people live and the expectations that they have for people and how they treat other people. You know, it also shows the gang violence and just the way of life. And I think it brings a really good aspect to the fact that people live, and one of the characters, she has a podcast and she talks about how people live in their bubbles, you know, and it takes one thing to kind of burst it and make them see what is going on around them. So I like the show simply because as a black woman watching the show, I, there are countless amounts of times that I've cried to all American. Like it is just such like a gut-wrenching like show in some some episodes they're really hard to watch but I'm happy that it brings light to things that are going on in this country because it is a real story you know so definitely number four on my list simply because it's just such an amazing show to watch I definitely recommend it like these are decreasing order but like Man, no, like all American, I'm kind of upset I had to put it at number four, but like, yeah, it's number four, but definitely check it out. So my third spot on this list is Glow. Glow is a Netflix original. Um, and it's just about this like out of work actress in the 80s. She goes to a casting call and she ends up finding out that it is a casting call for female wrestling, like a WWE show, like for women. And She's so broke and just, <laughs> she needs the money, so she does it. And the reason that I love Glow is because, as you guys know, I'm a feminist. And just the feminist aspects that Glow has going on, you know, like it kind of touches on um, body dysmorphia, which is so big because, like, especially in the 80s, you know, like there was so much going on with, like, drugs and pop music where it was like there was you know the 80s had that body you know where it was like everyone was curvy but like skinny they were like and their butt wasn't too big but it was big and like you know and so like one of the characters has a baby and so you, there's an episode where she talks about how much she hates her body and like she used to love it she's an actress and everything she used to love her body and how she loves her child but she hates what has been done to her body because of her child and she just like she doesn't know if that makes her a bad mom. So, you know, it's just things that like people don't talk about on TV. Um, 
and just also the acting is so good the acting is so good so they end up like creating this show with a bunch of different characters and like this is not a show that I ever would have watched realistically like when I saw Glow, I think I was just kind of like, eh, you know, I'll check it out. You know, those days where you're like, I'll check something out because I have nothing else to do. Um, and so I clicked on it and like, I was hooked. I think by the end of the first episode, I was hooked. Like, I was like, I need to watch this. And it was just so good. And every episode just kind of shed light into like what it's like being a woman who has to work for her money, a woman who doesn't really have someone to lean on and can just like expect things to be taken care of like it just shows how like women are hustlers so that show kind of like spoke to me because I was like this is so like sorry mom kick ass like I would want to be one of the ladies on that show so definitely recommend it and it's hilarious like I promise it's hilarious like thinking of some of the scenes like it is so funny so please check it out if you get the chance to the next one um if you know me, you know how much I talk about this show. You're probably shocked it's not at number one, but Black Mirror. I love Black Mirror because it's just so cool. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's like a modern Twilight Zone and it pretty much, each episode is different. So each episode goes into how modern technology and like technology that hasn't been created yet affects our lives and how it would play out if it were to be created and like all that kind of stuff. and. I think it's just cool because like I'm not like smart enough to be a technology nerd but I think technology is really cool and just seeing the things that they do and like the thoughts that they like the technology that they think of in these episodes like some of them you wish were real like the first episode that I've watched and I know the first episode of, that a lot of people watched was Nosedive and I definitely recommend that it's, it's the easiest one to kind of like get you into what the show is about and Nosedive was just crazy because it was like, it's like a social media based episode, you know? And it was like, if this were real life, like people have ratings and it's like, I remember after me and a couple friends watched it, we were like talking about how like life would be if we had ratings and like how people would treat you differently. And it's just so like crazy how like, that could happen you know there's nothing stopping it from happening it could easily happen and it just check it out that's all i gotta say uh, my favorite episodes um the first one that my favorite uh like i said you should probably start with nosedive just to kind of i feel like that's what gets everyone into like the the ride um but my favorite episode is the entire history of you followed by Ooh, what is my second favorite episode? <laughs> oh, the second favorite is White Christmas. And then the third one would have to be Hated in the Nation. A lot of people do not like Hated in the Nation, but I think honestly, it's the most realistic like episode. When, when you watch it, you'll see. But it's like that could happen tomorrow. So <laughs> definitely check out those three and check out the whole series in general. Um, Hopefully there should be a uh, season six, but there are five seasons right now on Netflix to watch. My number one show on Netflix to binge right now, it is a Netflix original. Um, it is Bojack Horseman. And Bojack Horseman, to give you a little backstory, it is an animated show and it's about humans and animals. They live together. And the main character, Bojack, he's a horse. <laughs> he's struggling with alcohol addiction. And he's also struggling with self-loathing and kind of just reflection on the man that he's been. So the show starts 20 years after he's like a big star in Hollywood. And the show just kind of takes you through like, depre the reason that I love the show is because kind of like Glow, um, it talks about things that people don't talk about. You know, you see the characters go through depression. You see the characters go through all these like life-changing events and kind of their emotions and how they deal with it but it's like the script doesn't like hold back and that's what I love about Netflix shows you know they don't really have like networks telling them like you can't say this and you can't you know but it's like like it deals with like topics that are just not 
you know, like, you know, those topics that you don't talk about, like the topics that would never come up at the dinner table or the topics that you and your friends steer clear of. It talks about them and it doesn't do them in the way that like most shows do them where it's like, this is depressing. You're talking about depression and this is depressing, you know, like, and it makes it hard to watch because you don't want to feel bad. You want to watch something because you want to feel good. And Bojack Horseman does that in a way that it makes you laugh. It makes you laugh about depression, which kind of sounds weird because what? But I promise like it just, it doesn't feel like you're being forced to talk about something or that the characters rather are being forced to talk about something. It just puts it into everyday life the way that you and I deal with depression and anxiety and addiction and all these things. So it just, it's such a good show, man. Like. I it just the last season just came out so if you're one of those people like me who like have to binge watch everything at once um it, all the seasons are done it's done the show is done nothing else is gonna come out but it just is so good in the way that it just makes you it makes you think you know and it makes you feel like I've cried at Bojack Horseman you know and it just is a good show so I had to give it number one like I was trying to figure out which shows I wanted to put in which order, but I knew that this one was my number one from the jump. So like as my number one, I need you guys to watch it. It is so good. So if you do and like, please do like, let me know because I just, I need to know if you like it and any of these shows, if you watch them, you like them, cool. Let me know. But yes, these are my top five. If you guys decide to watch any of these shows, please let me know because I would really love that. And if you have watched them and you think that there's something else that I might like, um, please also recommend shows. Right now I'm watching Good Girls and I'm just about done with that. So I'm looking for something else. I don't want to watch Ozark. I don't want to watch Tiger King. I'm good. Um, but please give me any recommendations and I would love it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and thank you guys, just thank you. That's it, I'm not gonna say anything else. Thank you.